guys, I have a message here, another message, um, and it's to do with so our so-called um, contracts. And the message that I received from the Most High today was Satan have karmic contracts as well. And avoid the karmic contracts. And what I'm meaning by this is that some of these contracts that these contracts that we're entering in, you know, they say, yeah, we agreed upon to fulfill these certain type of contracts. When you're living of the light, which all of us in some sense have we still have um, situations to do with um, a certain amount of karmic leverage leverage that we have to uh, knock out you know you know it's not a footing it's a leverage or whatever because it's within us and you know, uh, we have to knock, we have to destroy those old paradigms, the way we're thinking, uh, all of things that are of darkness. Satan have soul contracts as well. Guys, listen to me and listen to me very clearly. You can avoid uh, karmic contract and this is meaning by this I'm meaning by being able to see clearly um, operate in the proper proper manner being healed where you can discern and have intuition to know right from wrong, to be able to detect the red flags and demons that are in people that are being, that Satan is sinning with the contracts to disrupt your contract that's, that is of light, that's from God, that we are here on this earth to fulfill that are proper contracts that are contracts that you know are here to help um society now you guys you're gonna have to listen to me very clearly because it's a lot of co contracts that are going forward that people are fulfilling that was never meant for you to have to go through to fulfill. You don't just agree to abuse. You don't just agree to go into a contract to get your effing head knocked the F off or your eyes block, block, uh, 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 or your eyes beat in, or your nose, your head, whatever, abuse mentally, physically, emotionally, because God is not a God of hurt. Nothing about him is here to hurt us. These karmic contracts, these contracts that a lot of us are walking into are demonic. You did not God did not put us on this earth to be abused, rejected, abandoned, betrayed. Now, granted, things happen. People go through things. People get molested. People, but you have to know when to cancel out that contract. Avoid the karmic, demonic contract that's coming for you from Satan. Abort the contract. Abort ship. 
abort it. God never meant for you to have to go through this sort of habit. He never meant for people, now granted, some people are born into poverty. Some people are slow. Some people are, you know, and then you could be slow, but then God, you never know. God changes things. Or you could be slow to catch on, or you could be slow in this area, or you could have difficulties, you know, speaking, your speech, your thinking patterns, your, you, you, you know, you may even be an uh, impairment, you know, loss of limbs, loss of eyes, all of these things. You know, uh, things happen. Some people are born that way. But it doesn't mean that God wants you to be stuck going through physical abuse and agreeing to a damn contract that was never meant for you. We are putting ourselves into, we are going into agreement with the devil. So understand that. You're going into agreement with the devil. You're going into a contract with the devil to be neglected, betrayed, unloved, requited, diminished, um, neglected, betrayed, backstabbed, belittled. All of those things are of the devil. You are walking into a demonic soul contract. Rip it up, tear it up, and give it up. Stop it before it comes. Stop it. Stop walking into these contracts with these hurt, lost, broken people that's sent to you by Satan, Satan to destroy you. These are contracts from the devil. That you are agreeing to accept. That a lot of you guys are freely accepting them. Through sex. Through lust. Through uh, identity crisis. Through lacking the love of yourself. Through no self-worth. Through abandonment. Through codependency. Through rejection. Through projection through trying to buy love God did never mean for you to accept this contract it is from the devil give it back rip it up, tear it up burn it and dismiss mantle get out don't accept the contract you have the right to not agree to the devil's contract and if someone tells you that that's not so you better refer back to the anointing of the Holy Ghost to God the Most High to Jesus to your self worth respect back to the cross loving yourself refer back to your natural state and give these contracts back you have the right to deny the devil's contract you have the right to deny the devil's contract you do not have to accept the devil's contract you do not have to go into agreement with Satan to be hurt to be belittled to be talked about, to be misjudged, to be misunderstood, to be little, to be overlooked, to be handpicked, to be idol worship, to be praised for nothing. You're going into these karmic contracts to praise others for nothing. You're going into these karmic contracts to idol 
idol worship Satan people, Satan and his people. You have a right to deny this demonic, karmic soul contract. Nowhere in history does God tell you you have to, and you know, but if you want to agree to, uh, agree to it, oh well, then so be it. Agree to accepting Satan's contract and go through whatever you felt that you, you know, you felt you were undeserving, you felt you wasn't good enough, you felt you wasn't cute enough, you felt you wasn't pretty enough, you felt that you, you know, had to accept this person so that they can mentally abuse you physically, emotionally, uh, be deceptive, manipulative, lie, cheat, steal, use you for money, all this stuff. Those are the devil's contract. You have the right to deny it, to detect it, and execute it out of your way. Get rid of it. Detect it, destroy it, get rid of it. For good. You have a right to know when right from wrong. To know when you're being loved and not loved. You have a right to know when someone's coming to you with foo-foo. You, you have the right Give that contract back. Actually, don't give it back. Deny it. You don't have to give it back. Deny it. Rip it up into shreds. Get rid of it. Remove it. rid of it, remove it, destroy it, put an ending to it, put an ending to your thinking, your mental, whatever is off, seek counsel for healing so that you can not even agree to go into an agreement with the devil, God did not mean for you to accept no devil minute contract, that's a lie from the pits of hell. You have a right to give it back. Give back what either it, you're dealing with, whoever you are. If you're narcissistic, if you're a hater, if you're jealous, if you're envy, if you're a backstabber, if you're a betray, if you betray people, you have a right to change. You have a right for that will to turn and go in the right direction instead of going backwards. You have a right to not see things as you're seeing them while you're walking in darkness and walk into the light and do the right and come out of the night into the light. You have a right. So you guys don't accept Satan's contract. Seek counsel. Seek proper healing. Do whatever it takes to get your childhood wounds healed. From molestation, rape, abandonment, neglect, abuse, physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually. Because you could spiritually be in darkness. You could spiritually operate out of darkness. Deny the contract. You don't have to accept it. That's the thing. You don't have to accept it. So give it back. Give it back. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Give it back. Not that you even have to give it back. Just don't accept it. No right from wrong. Know that, you know, uh, oh, this is, uh, this is strictly of the devil. This is strictly coming from the devil. I don't want it. 
I'm not agreeing to uh, Satan's contract. Okay, guys? So, understand that. Okay? Bye. That's a tipper for you guys. Uh, Y'all don't count me out. Like and subscribe. And, um... My donation, my cash app is Dollar Signs Charlie's Angel. I got a lot of new projects that I'm going to be pushing forward. Granted, I, you know, I'm going to be working a lot more, so it would help if you guys would donate, like, and subscribe to my channel to get my channel on up there. I'm dealing with a situation where I came in here speaking nothing but the truth. People did not like it or whatever. They wanted to keep me on the back burner. You know, they want, you know, people to look at me in this other kind of way. It's people in narcissistic triangulation groups. It's people that's that's already been, you know, out here, you know, supposed to be in their own lane, but they can't mind their own business. They got mad with me because I wouldn't be submissive to them, to their order. I have no right to submit to them. God is the author of all of this and the writer, the 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 you know he's the starting and the finishing and all of that but they don't understand that they went and paid people this these are people that are sitting in high places that could be to do with wi-fi internet celebrities act, actors artists whatever they're all linking up clicking up together they're taking my information they're drawing off of all of my stuff, my ideas, all of that, and keeping me at the bottom. It's you guys' job to see through the illusions and to still like and subscribe to my channel and help when you can because I'm not here playing no games. I'm here for nothing but solely healing. You know, it is about love, light, and respect and about our partners, but at the end of the day, we got a whole other situation going on before we even get into these unions with our partners a lot of times it's a lot of it's a whole different ball game it's a lot of things need to be healed it's a lot of uh, you know to do with self and it's a lot of us so you guys uh, do the right thing like and subscribe to my channel it is what it is don't be a hater you may dislike something i say today and tomorrow you may love me don't look at it in that manner just see it for what it is and go on about your business it's a lot of things i don't like that people say sometimes or whatever and it be the truth when it hits you in the heart and really hurts it means it's for you so granted you know like i say i got celebrities out here i wasn't submissive to them i wouldn't praise them I wouldn't bow down to their order and, you know, they think it is about money or fame and all this. No, it's about healing. It's about getting our people on the right track. It's about doing the right thing. It's about being in the light and coming out of the night. It's about stopping a lot of this uh, destruction that's going on in the world. It's not about us. It's not about praising us. It's not about idol, idol worshiping. It's not about that. And until they understand that, they're going to know that God the Most High, He's about to rip a whole bunch of people off their throne. What, whoever they paid, whatever they did, they better come out of that contract and they better come out quick. And I mean quick. And this is the last warning. I warned them the last time. This is the last warning. They better come from up under Satan uh, order or whatever contract they deal that they made with the devil to try to keep me under, they better get from up under it because they're fist to face something that's going to be really, really hurtful. Hurtful, hurtful. And they ain't going to know what to do. So, you know, if they, you, they may not even... So, uh, you know, I'm just saying, I'm not going to say too much more, but yeah okay so guys if you like i say if you don't mind if you don't if you would like and subscribe to my channel i would appreciate it god bless and y'all have a great day